There's been some discussion lately on the SDC forum about the per, the older style Felpro rear main seals versus the newer style. Uh, this is a Felpro, same, they're the same numbers, but this one sets probably about 10, 10 years old, and this is a one I just recently bought. Uh, there was some discussion about the little spaghetti on the ends that seal the top, the main cap to the block being too thick, but they, they don't seem to be much different to me. Uh, the seal, everything looks pretty close in dimension. I don't see that the newer seal is overly thicker or larger. Uh, the one thing I did notice, and this has been noted, I think, on one of the posts on the forum, is that the, the newer seal does fit not quite as snugly in the cap. Uh, and this is kind of tough to do. I mean, let me put the... Uh, let me put this down and for a minute. Alright, sorry about that. It does not fit as snugly, and that's that's definitely the case. It is a little loose. probably would be tempted to put a little sealer in there. Now, there have been some people that said, well, let's just squeeze this together. But, no, I don't know about that. I'd be hesitant to do that, too. Uh, so, uh, that's just observation. Like I say, the new seal is, is just a little looser. In the older style. I'm going to use this this seal kit in this engine. Uh, another thing that was noted is the new new kits don't have the cork seals anymore or the uh, individual pieces of spaghetti. So you can see that uh, the old one did the new one does, and the new one has this little piece of plastic, and I think it's supposed to be used to, when you're installing the lower half, or the, I guess the upper half with the crankshaft in. Uh, I'm, to be honest with you, that's the first time I've really installed a seal on a Studebaker engine with the crankshaft still in. So, But I've done a test fit, and it's not going to be a, a big deal rolling it in. I do want to put a little lubricant on it. So, uh, that's my take on the question of the little bit older style seals versus the latest Velcro seals. And uh, anyone has any comments, uh, go ahead and post them on my uh, video. Getting ready to put the rear seal in. So, everything's cleaned up. The seal surface, the... Uh, boss on the engine or the flange on the engine where the seal rides. All this cavity down here is all cleaned up. And it took a while with the crank in. Uh, and I've got luber plate very generously applied to it. Over here the rear main bearing cap is all cleaned up. Made sure there weren't any sharp edges or rolled edges. And uh, got my seal ready. I'll put a little bit of luber plate on the lip of the seal there when we get ready to roll that in. So let's get ready to roll that lower half in. That's the critical part. You don't want to uh, shave. You don't want to shave any rubber off the back. If you see where the 
round, half uh, round piece is right in the middle there. That's what seals. That gets flattened when the main bearing cap goes on and the two seals push together. That gets flattened. Uh, and you don't want to tear that up rolling it in. So you got to be really careful. I've got this little piece of plastic I'll use to protect the seal from that sharp edge. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This, this edge right here, you could really peel away some of that rubber of that seal. It's a whole lot easier doing this when the crank's out. You just press it in and you're done. So let's get ready to roll the seal in. I'll put you up on the tripod. All right. All right, back at it. Uh, the service letter. Let's see if we can show you the service letter. Service letter N1964-1. Says apply a thin film of Permatex number two or a similar non-hardening type sealer to the face of the rear main cap rearward from the front edge of the oil slinger cavity, which is here. So this has to get Permatex number two or similar. Uh, since we're gonna use the ultra black on the uh, ends of the seal, which is what Felpro recommends we're going to use that in this area also. And it says put that on before we put the seal in. And it doesn't need to be a real thick coat. We've got to get some where that spaghetti is going to go. make a mess when I'm working with RTV. Or at least I try not to make a mess. Alright, so I'm going to put a little bit on this spaghetti. Apparently, they found that there was leakage from here back sometimes. So, let's put just a little bit. I hope you're seeing all of this. I'm not sure when I'm in front of the camera and when I'm not. Trying to minimize what I'm putting in here. All right. Seal points forward. Okay, so the seal's in. Let's put just a little bit on those joint.
not sure how far I should go up. I really don't want to slather it up onto that lip that much. Just a little bit on the engine. You're not going to see this as I'm not going to move the camera back for this little bit. So what I'm doing is putting a little RTV, just like Velpro says, on the mating surface of the other seal, other half. Just a little bit. Trying not to go crazy here. Then, can you see? Okay. Then we're going to put some grease the lip of the seal. Even though I do have plenty on the surface of the crank where this is going to seal. Bearings in, a little lube on the bearing, and so now we're going to, let me turn the camera around. Alright, hopefully you can see this. Lips pointing to the front. Let's make sure the spaghetti's in good. It is. too far forward.
me grab my flashlight. Let me do just one check and we'll come back. 